we're going to have two options. We have gtext and we have text. The difference is that gtext will respond to our click and give us a prompt of where we want to put something. Text is the most repeatable way because it'll place something at a specific value. Again, to learn more about these, help text and help gtext in your command window. Help text takes an XY position and then a string. No problem there. Let's go ahead and do text for now. And let's put this at the minimum and maximum values. Sorry, let's just put this at the minimum value of Y. Okay, well, we know what that's gonna be analytically, but that might change in different curves and stuff. So let's make this more repeatable. So let's pull out the minimum value in Y. So let's do min of Y. And then we're gonna to wanna to pull out the um, min, let's just call this Y min and Y index. We'll get both of those out. Bracket this. There we go. So now we'll get the minimum of Y, we'll get the minimum value and the index of that value. Now we're going to want to put the text at that minimum y value, so at y min, and for the x, we're going to want to put it at the x of that y indice. I'm going too fast here, my apologies. Let's just take a look at what this is going to output for now. Let me just output that. So we'll get right here the end of 11 and the minimum value of 0. So the 11th value in our y here is the minimum value. Does that make sense? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yep, that makes sense. And the value there is zero. So we're basically getting that very center black diamond at zero, zero. I wanna also add information right beneath it. So I'm going to be adding text here at the X value where Y is at a minimum. So I'm gonna use this Y end of 11 and pull out the 11th value of X. That'll do right there, the 11th value of x, and then we're gonna plot it at the y minimum value. And let's add our string. Let's just add minimum, and we'll see how this looks. Well, it did what we asked. You can see it started the word minimum exactly at 0, 0, which is where the minimum is. So we might wanna shift this a bit more, maybe a couple, you know, we'll do, let's just say minus five here, and minus five here. Plot that. Okay, and you can see we're getting closer. Not perfect, but if we maybe shift this to, let's say negative two, there. Now we're getting some more repeatable stuff over and over and over. I'm sure we can also change the font of the text if we just look into the help documentation a bit more here. Let's see. Here, font size set to 14, let's try that. So let's go back to our editor, minimum, and we'll do font size. Let's try, let's try 20. There we go. That's our customization, and this is very repeatable. The other option now is using gtext. Gtext instead will just take, we don't need any of this stuff. We just need gtext, and we need the string we wanna put out there. Where to go? Well, it's waiting for us now with these crosshairs to click on the screen where we wanna add that text. Here I've added it right, right in the front here. We can also add these font size. I'm sure we can do this font size. Let's make this 15. Boom, there's our minimum. Unfortunately, once these are placed, they're fairly fixed. You'd have to come up top, click the little cursor here can we click it? Yeah, we can click that and we can drag that as well if you need to adjust later on after you've already placed a plotting item. If you wanna add any arrows, I think the easiest way to do this is using MATLAB's text arrow as such. And then you can actually write after this. So you could write again minimum afterwards. You can move this feature around if we want. So you can label things like this or you can just add a single arrow with arrow from your current existing text. There you go. That's a great way to add text, either per your individual information of the plot, using something like this, where you pull out the minimums or maximums, grab the indices, plot at those locations, 
or if you've got the time to label things, you can use that gtext function. And of course, you can always use the different insert commands that you have available to you in the figure toolbar. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed that one. We've got more good videos coming. Stay tuned.